Hi everyone, it's Miss Jamie here with another uh, video home visit from my house to yours. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I hope you are all doing well. So today, Lucy and I have Hi. a lesson for you that um, is about the alphabet and learning letters, a letter identification and starting to learn some of those beginning letter sounds. So we're going to start out like we always do, and we're going to get our journals out. So get a piece of paper out, a notebook, um, just you Anything can even with use, paper. yeah, you can even use the back of uh, one of the sheets I put in your activity packet. A this plain week. sheet of paper, anything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get our notebooks. Here's one for you, Lucy. You have your marker? Yes. Okay, so remember when you do your journal, um, you will first write your name. If you have not mastered writing your name yet, you can write it with yellow marker and then trace it, or you can um, put dots and trace the dots, or if you know how to write your name, then go ahead and write your name. For some of you older kids who are writing your name, no problem, um, but you are still writing your name really large, and um, we want to start working on writing our letters smaller, um, about the size that you would on a notebook paper. So to help you with that, you can draw little um, rectangles or squares that are the size of the letter. So if you look... The first one would be L U C Y. And if you look at that, see how the first rectangle is pretty big because your first letter is supposed to be an uppercase. And then the next two letters are lowercase U and C. And then we did a rectangle box that goes low for the Y. That'll help the kids start to form the letters um, in the right size and the right shape. You so if they're ready for that, go ahead and try that this week. And if you already know how to spell your name, you could try spelling it backwards. Oh, that's fun. Very fun. Okay, so after you write your name, since we're talking about letters today, let's do a journal entry on letters. So have your mom or your dad help you with the writing of the sentence. My name starts with the letter, and then mom or dad leave this part blank so that they can write that first letter of their name. So I would write the letter J because my name is Jamie, J, J, Jamie. So I wrote a letter J in that box. And then if you look, you see that I already drew a picture of myself. That's what you're going to do. You are going to draw a picture of yourself. So um, for parents, this is a basically what your child should be drawing right now. The first beginning process of drawing a person would be a circle. And then they usually add the arms and the legs. And there's Lucy's. <laughs> and then you'll usually see eyes, a nose, and a mouth. That's basically what um, three and four-year-olds will be drawing right now um, when they're drawing people. I could also Sometimes they'll put hair. Now, and if they, they are drawing um, a body or um, adding details like clothes and shoes and things like that, that's great. They're doing really well. So first for the they can do, I'm drawing one with clothes. Okay, Lucy's so. going to draw one with clothes. Um, before we start on our lesson today, I wanna make sure you have all your materials. So I dropped off a activity to your home this week and you should have received in that packet the frog game so you'll want to get that out right now and you should have received this alphabet book my alphabet book so you'll want to get that out 
And then there should also be a sheet of paper in there with colored ABC letters. So those are the three um, materials that we're going to use today for um, our activity. So let's start with, um, I'm gonna pull a table back so that you can see what we're doing. Okay, can you see that? Let's start with the colored ABCs. So you can use magnetic letters. In fact, I usually like to use magnetic letters um, because the kids can actually feel um, the shape of the letter in their hand um, and they work really well. So if you have magnetic letters, you can get those out now and use those instead of these the paper. So what I did was I cut up all of those letters, I cut them out and um, the, now they're just like little pieces like this. What you're going to do with these or your magnetic letters, um, first just give your child, lay them down on, the, on your cookie tray or just on your uh, rug or your carpet and tell them to sort the letters by their color. Okay, so first, Lucy, we're going to put all the yellow ones together, all of the green ones together, all of the red ones together. So you're just, again, we're building on those skills that we've already learned with the sorting. But we're, you don't want us to just teach it one day and stop. Continue to bring in all of the skills that your child has learned when, whenever you're doing new activities. Okay, so we'll put all the blue ones together. Purple. So first, we're just sorting. These greens are actually different, Mom. Are they? Yeah, these are different colored greens. We'll go ahead and put them with the green since they are a type of green. Okay. Lucy pointed out some of the greens little look a little different from each other. Go ahead and just put all of the green together because they do have the green color. And uh, this is a green thing. And then again, going back to some of those skills, we're going to count um, how many of each color. So spell Lucy, my name. <laughs> spell my name and... oh, she spelled, that is something else you can do. Lucy right away wanted to spell her name. Let your child spell their name, find the letters. And then you can sort it back. Mm -hmm. And then sort it back. Okay, so first we're gonna count our letters. So Lucy, how many yellow letters are there? One, two, three, four. Right. How many red letters are there? One, two, three, four, five. One more than that. Good. How many blue letters are there? One, two, three, four, five. That's like the red. Mm -hmm. And how many pink letters are there? One, two, three. And how many green letters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then ask your child, which group of letters has the most? Green? Right. Green has the greatest number of letters. Which group of letters has the least? Pink. Pink. Right. There's only three. Pink has the least or the smallest number of letters. Okay. So now that we did a little review of our sorting and counting, we're going to focus on the letters now. And like I said, first thing you can do um, is spell your name or at least find the first letter in your name. So I would find the letter J and, you know, tell what color the letter J is green. And, and Lucy a, would pick the letter. I'm going to spell your name. Oh, she's going to spell my name. And, you know, after they find the letters in their own name, find the letters in mom's I, name or dad's name. name or grandma's name or, or a brother or a I sister's it. name. I spell it like that. Mm -hmm. You might not spell it like that. Okay. Moving on from that. Now the pink has four. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you can start having them Math. spell um, words. Yeah, I wasn't so that. I just went and looked inside my alphabet book here and picked out some words. And all you have to do is just write them down on a piece of paper. Let me read that. <laughs> and then have them find the letters. So they're just matching the letters. So our first word is dog. And so Lucy's going to find the letters in dog and she's just gonna put them right on top of the letters 
that I wrote down? I go here. D, D O C. G. And a fun thing about it is they're all purple. Or pink. That is cool. That doesn't happen a lot. Okay, so we spelled the word dog. Now Lucy knows her letters really well, so she was able to find those very quickly. But if your child is just now learning, you can help them out. That's why we sorted them in colors first. So the next word is bear. And let's say that Lucy does not know her letters yet. She doesn't know what the B, B, and bear looks like. Well, she can look at it on this paper, but you can also give her a hint. I see a letter B and the yellow letters. So now there are only four yellow letters. She has four letters to look through instead of 26 letters. And that helps her narrow it down and helps her to learn. So Lucy, can you find the letter B and the yellow letters? Hmm. This is an N, this is a V, this is a K, and this is a B. And then she found the B and she'll just place that B right on top of the B that I wrote down. The next letter is E. E is in the blue letters. Now, one thing that you'll want to see that I did, um, I wrote the words correctly with an uppercase at the beginning and then the rest lowercase. So that could be tricky because the letters are not going to look the same. The letters I gave you are all uppercase. If your child is just now beginning to learn letters, go ahead, it's okay to write all the words in uppercase so that it's easier for them to find the letters. If they know they're uppercase, those are mastered, go ahead and write them um, with the lowercase letters and that'll help them start to identify the upper and lowercase match. Okay, and so our next word is pig. I see a P in the blue letters. Can you find a P in the blue letters? This is an A, this is an X, this is an H, and this is a P. Okay. I see the I in the red letters. Good job, Lucy. <laughs> I'm not going to do the whole thing I do every time. I see the G in hmm. the pink letters. Pig. <laughs> Okay, our next word is a sight word, and that is something that we'll talk about um, in another lesson. And I will give all of you a list of the basic sight words. Sight words are different than other words because a lot of times you can't learn them in the traditional way of sounding them out and learning letter sounds. You kind of just have to memorize them. So I will be giving you a basic sight word list that you can um, start um, practicing with your child and I will in another lesson go over some activities that you can actually do with sight words um, but one of our sight words is the and so you can also when we get to sight words start writing sight words down and having them find the correct letters to match to the sight words that'll help them learn those as well okay so we're gonna put our letters back down I'm gonna put a P for the the <laughs> okay and we're going to move oh, on. Oh, there's a red and the pink. Let's clean up these letters here. We're going to read a book. We haven't read a book yet today. And, um, can I read the book? You can help me read the book. We'll read it together. How about that? That's way fair. Yeah, that's fair. So I chose a book um, that has lots of letters in it. I love it. Chicka book. Chicka Boom Boom. Um, you did get this book in your activity packet this week. Um, if you already had this book, I know I had given it to some people. If you already had it and want to um, get a different book, just let me know and I'll get that to you. Okay, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is a great book. It is a great book. And Lucy's going to help me read it. The YouTube video, like, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. A told B and B told C. I'll, I'll meet, meet you, you at, at the, the top, top of, of the coconut, coconut tree. We said D to E F G. I'll, I'll beat you, you to the, the top of the coconut, coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. 
and I and J and take along K all the way on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L M N O P. And Q R S and T U V. Still more. W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet up the. Oh no. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. What happened, Lucy? They all fell off the tree. They all fell off the tree. Oh, no. Skit, scat, scoodle, doot, flip, flop, flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Oh, thank goodness their mom and dads came. And their mom and dads are the uppercase letters, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skin knee D and stub toe E and patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit scat. Scoodle doop. Flip flop. Flee. Look who's coming. Hi. It's black eyed P. QRS and loose tooth T. I want to see loose tooth T. Loose tooth T right here. This is my favorite part in the book. I love black eyed P and loose tooth T. I like stub toe E. Stub toe E. Then UVW, wiggle jiggle free. E. Last to come, XYZ. And then the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka chicka boom boom, look there's a full moon. A is out of bed and this is what he said. Dare double dare, you can't catch me, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. And then we have all our ABCs here. We could sing the ABC song. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And it's good help here because you can it's the uppercase. It shows the upper, upper and the lowercase. I love that. Okay, so now that we've read our book, in your packet, you probably let's pull this one out. This is a fun game that you can play at home. So you'll want to cut out all the little dots and all of the um, letter cards um, before you play. And then you can choose which game board you want to use. There's an uppercase and there's a lowercase. If your child is pretty good, has mastered this uppercase, then go ahead and do the lowercase. But if they master the lowercase, do it the uppercase. Okay, so here's our game, and I'll just show you how to play for a little bit here. So you'll have your cards that you cut out, and you'll just put those in a pile, and then where are my dots? Here's the dots, and then you'll have your colored dots. And so the goal of the game 
is to cover all of the letters with the dots. So we're just going to do it with the uppercase right now. So I'll go first. And um, you can take turns playing. And I got the letter T. So, you grab so your I'm going to grab a dot and I'm going to find the letter T on the letter board and I'm going to cover it up. And now it's Lucy's turn. She's going to pull a letter. I'm going to grab the letter. Okay. And then I'm going to go. And what letter did you get, Lucy? I got an uppercase I. Okay, Lucy got. This actually looks like the lowercase L, Lucy. It does? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, these are, the L's and I's get confusing, but this is the lowercase L. So, Lucy, can you find an L? Right here. And yeah. again, we have the lowercase and uppercase mixed together in here. If your child has not mastered the uppercase yet, take the lowercase out and just do uppercase with your child. Okay? And let's see. I'm going to pick one. Oh, got some blanks. I got letter X. So I'm going to take my dot. And I'm going to put um, a dot on letter X. Um, so Lucy and I are just sharing all of the colors, and it's not it doesn't matter which color we grab. If you want to make the game more competitive, you can. You can give one person all the red um, and pink, and then you can give another person all of the green and blue or something like that. I'll take a green. And then whoever has the most... Um, spaces covered on their board would be the winner. I'm going to take but them in the middle. you don't even have to do that. Kids love just playing and covering the letters. Why do I keep getting lower cases? There's a lot of lower case in here, I think. But Where is my lower case? We've got a lower case D. I just got that. Did you already do that one? That, okay. Mom, I think that was a P. That it, oh, it could P. be a P. That's yeah. still, that's still a They're P. tricky. There's... I'm going to pick up these and put them. Okay. So just keep taking turns. This is a great opportunity for your child to learn some of those social skills that they'll need for school as far as taking turns. And you have to be patient while one person goes and then it's your turn. Um, that's, that's a skill. And it might take a few times of playing games like this for them to learn that skill. And that's okay. But this is a great opportunity for you to work on that taking turns and sharing um, and those types of skills as well. You could have so, used coins for the things. <laughs> yeah, if you run, if you lose your um, cover-ups, you can use coins. Okay, so I'm going to put this game up. Um, let me know how you like that game. I love to hear feedback. Um, but it's a pretty fun game to play, and I think you'll enjoy it. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you the ABC book that I put in your um, um, packet this week. I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. I feel like you can't see me. Oh, where did I put it on there? So, this is a book um, that you're definitely, definitely, definitely not going to work on um, all in one day. And I don't want you to do that. But I do want you to hold on to this book, keep it somewhere safe, because I want you to open this book every day. So on the first night, all I want you to do is to write your name. All right. And then each night, I want you to just do one letter. Can I do a letter? It doesn't matter which letter you start with. They are in ABC order, but if your child wants to start with the letter for their name, like Lucy is L, then she would might want to start with L, and that's okay. Just do one page a night, though. You don't want this to become a burden or something your child doesn't look forward to. And the last thing I want to show you, after they practice that one letter each night, I want you to read through the whole book with your child. Only one time. If you do it over and over in one night, I'm at trace. it's not going to be fun and they're not going to enjoy it. They won't want to do it anymore. One time a night. Um, and your child will learn their ABCs. So what you do is you, you open the book. And I want you to start with A, and, and you'll go A, and point then. to the uppercase. A, 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 point to the lowercase. And then point to the picture and say apple. So you'll go A, 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 A
The reason that you're doing the letter sound on the lowercase is because that's how we read. Most of the letters are lowercase. So your child is going to learn their uppercase, their lowercase, and the letter sound by doing this every night for once a night. So you're going to go A, 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 Apple. Turn the page. B, 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 Bear. C, 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 Cat. D, 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 Dolphin. E, 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 Egg. I want you to do this all the way through to letter Z every night. And your child will be able to learn their ABCs in their letter sounds in just a couple weeks. It really is a magical thing. But remember, only do it one time because I'm telling you, they'll get bored with it if you try to do it over and over in one night. Once a day, read through it, do all the sounds, point to the letters A, 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 Apple. apple. And um, I think they'll, they'll do a great job. Let me know how they do. Give me some feedback. Send me a text. Call me. Um, comment on the video. Right. Like Lucy says, comment on the video. Um, let me know how they like these activities. So we're going to say goodbye for today. We hope you enjoyed our alphabet activities. We'll be doing more with the alphabets and learning to read in the future. Um, but I hope you enjoy these activities. Take care. Be safe. Be healthy. Um, until we see you again. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Lucy, do you want to push the button? Bye.